gonna say this is better. Oh god, almost died. Okay. Are your walls just as blank as these? I do have posters up here, you just can't see them. So this wall is not as empty as you think it is, but I do have things here to make them less blank on the, the bottom part. <laughs> so first of all, I've got rice, I've got pasta, I've got markers, um, and paper. First of all, I want to figure out how much rice this is because it's just rice in a bag that I found. I'm not really sure how old it is, but I do know where it came from. I feel like that's more important. Okay, so this is about two cups of rice. There. So then maybe three cups of rice? I don't know. I don't know. But I also have a mason jar here. So what we're going to do with this is um, pour the rice in here. But before we do that, we got to do something, a little, little something to it. Which I also forgot to get, so hang on. Okay, so just kidding. We're doing a baking video now. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of different utensils now. Hopefully something works. But the thing that I for, uh, forgot that's the most important is the food coloring. So we're going to turn this into rainbow rice. Now I did see a couple of in, uh, recipes for this on, online. Um, a lot of them used rubbing alcohol, but I'm not going to douse my rice in rubbing alcohol just for the sake of pride. I want to be able to eat this afterwards because who am I to waste rice, right? Um, I didn't have any idea what kind of vinegar to use instead of rubbing alcohol. People just said just to use vinegar, so I have distilled vinegar and hopefully that'll be okay. I really don't know. But I got some measuring cups just in case I need to like part out stuff. I guess I could have gotten bowls, but figured I wanted to figure out how much rice I had so that I can divide it by six and um, we'll go from there. We need orange, but we don't have orange. Oh gosh. What is three divided by six? One half. Okay, so I need how much fits in a mason jar? I didn't do a lot of research on this, I just decided to go for it. So hopefully, um, hopefully this turns out okay. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a good amount of rice. Maybe we'll just divide two cups into six. Oh gosh. It's a third, okay. God, this is like the, you have a wolf, a sheep, and a whatever, and you've gotta get them in the boat without the wolf eating the sheep. So then that's one cup, but it's really three thirds out of six thirds. <laughs> okay, this is this is how I work. This is fine. That's more than two thirds because this is not a dry measuring cup. This is also a wet measuring cup. I don't... If there's one thing that I wish doesn't happen with this video is that my parents actually watch it and find out how bad at math I am. Okay, so <laughs> what we need to do is dye the rice now. All right, so it said half a table, half a teaspoon? Yes, I think it said half a teaspoon of vinegar. So I'm really counting on that. I don't know how much rice they use though. What if they use more rice and then it's too much vinegar? Let's start with an eighth. Got a rice in there, in there. And then uh, vinegar, that's that. And then what color do we wanna start with? Let's start with red. You can do it, there you go. One drop of red. It's got a really strong smell. Something I didn't take into consideration was that I'm using one bowl to mix all of them, but I'm gonna have to let them dry separately so they don't mix. I definitely thought ahead. New plan, I'll be right back. So, I have this contraption. Uh, I just took six of these like smaller plates because there's six colors of the rainbow so it really worked out because I only have six of them and I didn't want to bring out a bigger one. So I'm just gonna put these here. This might work, okay. I'm gonna go put this by the window and then we'll start our next thing. Okay, so the good news is is that I have one of these newspaper ad things. The bad news is I only have one of these newspaper ad things. They're not nearly as uh, fruitful as I thought they would be in terms of things I can pull from them. So, what we are doing with this is making a collage. 
Here's a white sheet of paper that I can glue everything to. I also don't have a glue stick. I only have tape and glue. Liquid glue. Did I say what I was doing with the rainbow stuff? I don't know, it doesn't really matter at this point. We'll find out eventually. Okay, so I've had these like tissue paper things for a really long time. I'm not really sure where they came from. Let me fix this lighting. But yes, as I was saying, I have this tissue paper and I've had it for a really long time. Like it's moved houses with me. I just, I don't know why, where it came from, where I got it, why I have it, and why do I still keep it? Who knows? But I have one piece of white paper here that I can glue everything on. And we're just gonna make a collage. It's just gonna be fun. It's gonna be cool. I use the term cool very lightly. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna look through our, our food at first. Oh, we got some red cherries for $2.99. That's, I love cherries so much. Otter Pops. Oh my God. I have to have an Otter Pop. I'm gonna go get an Otter Pop. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a whole bunch of things out and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to start gluing. Okay, so it's the next day and I did finish the main part of the collage. Um, I realized in hindsight that this may be a little bit busy, maybe a, li a little too many things. Um, so this is a good, like if you have a day project sort of thing or just work on it slowly over the course of a week or so. I have like all that tissue paper still that I didn't use and um, I'm gonna just put it in the background because I was, I was really afraid of white space in the back because I'm using a white sheet of paper as like the stick it on thing. Kind of like that, I don't, Use your imagination, I don't really know. I'm gonna lay all this out and glue it all down and then I will do a close-up of it when I'm done. Kinda looks like a mess, but I promise it'll all come together, crossing my fingers. Uh, so this will just go on top like that. And it actually looks kind of busy. Um, slightly overwhelming, but that's okay. Here we go. I have little spots of glue on the back so if I really need to pull it back up, hoping I'll be able to. There's definitely some parts in the, yeah, like this part down here, I'm gonna have to glue that because that's definitely coming apart. Um, but I didn't want to like put glue all over the back so that it was just gonna be like wrinkly and sticky and wet. So I'm gonna glue down the top as well and then we'll put on my final piece and then I'll be done. Well, I am very surprised that I didn't massively mess this up. And as I'm adding more glue, I could very well still do that. So I'm just gonna finish that there. Boom, done. I'll bring it closer for you. Oh, uh -huh. now we can get more in frame. Perfect, okay. So I've got a whole bunch of drinks, food, snacks. We've got some games over here um, so that we can throw water balloons, I guess. Lawn chairs and deck furniture so we can all hang out. Healthy food if you're into that. Snacks, ice cream, desserts. Um, this is just a reminder that we are in this together, ready for the summer, and I guess this is supposed to be me with the dog. I don't know, it was just, it was in the ad and I threw it in there. I've got my six plates of rice, which went better than I expected, honestly. Um, the purple turned out okay. It's not great. Um, I have some clips of it earlier where I was trying to break it all up. It's a lot drier now than it was when I first came out here this morning. Um, cause it was all just sticking together and it was kind of gross actually, but it all became kind of one piece and I had to break it up, um, let it dry in the sun for a little bit longer. Um, this one and the orange one and the yellow one were all kind of still wet when I woke up this morning. And I think it's because there's still some dye that didn't quite dissolve correctly. So I have my tray of rice that I'm going to move back in my jar, my empty mason jar in the front. And we're going to start with the purple on the bottom. I don't know which one is gonna work better, but I have paper and I have this. Let's start with the paper. Oh, okay. Definitely don't do that if you have shaky hands like I do currently. I've had too much coffee for today, um, but that definitely works. So we're just gonna smooth that out before I put anything else in there. That doesn't look like a lot of rice. It doesn't look very full. I'm kind of stressed now that we're gonna have not enough of the other colors. And there we go. Just kind of shake that down a tiny bit. And we've got a rainbow jar of rice.
So my original idea was to put pasta in here, but I'm actually too lazy. I mostly made it as a pasta holder, but it looks fine how it is. So I'm not gonna put pasta in it, but you can put pasta in it. You can also use pasta by itself. You can also dye your pasta the same exact way using vinegar and food coloring. This is also just a spaghetti jar. Highly recommend this. It takes a little bit, but it definitely was worth it. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna keep this on my counter. These are two things you can do to decorate your house for pride, decorate your home. So until next time, remember to stay cool, stay safe, stay positive, and subscribe for more content like this coming at you every single day of the month of jo June, June, June. I'm thinking about Joanne Fabrics. I miss that place. Okay, moving on. Goodbye.